What is up, Browns fans? Mike here. This is Mike's Takes, episode three. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you my all-time favorite Browns team. We're going to start with the offense. I'm going to do a different video for the defense. Um, but before we get started, first, just click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Let's get that out of the way. Help your boy grow the channel. Again, our goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the start of the season. We're well on our way. Some of the trailer videos have done really well. Some of the other ones have done okay as well. So just help me out. Subscribe to the channel. Okay. So first things first... We're going to start with the quarterback position, okay? And I'd say, if you're looking statistically speaking, um, Otto Graham and Brian Seip would be the two top statistical, Brian Seip even the best statistic Browns quarterback. But I'm going to be giving you my favorites, right? I grew up in the 80s, so Bernie Kosar is my favorite quarterback. He's my favorite player of all time, hands down. Um... I've had, I'll do a video about like some of the interactions I've had kind of, not really with Bernie, but kind of around him um, in the future. But I would say Bernie Kosar is my starting quarterback for my all-time Browns team. If I'm playing Madden, if I'm putting putting one of these like compilation teams together, I'm playing with Bernie, number one, in his prime, 85, 86, 87 years of Bernie Kosar. Um, he's my favorite, he's number one. All right, number two, let's, let's think backup quarterbacks now, backups. My backup quarterback today for the Browns is going to be Brian Seip. Brian Seip, MVP of the NFL. Um, he arguably is really one of the best quarterbacks. I can you, you can say statistically, looking at some of his years, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL history, right? So Brian Seip is going to be number two, followed by number three. We're going to go autogram. Number four, we're going to go Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield makes he makes the roster. He's on the team. I'm carrying four quarterbacks on my roster. I'm sorry, most people won't. But I'm carrying four. Just deal with it. Okay. So let's go to running back now. Running back position second. My starting running back. And we're going to go halfback then fullback. Halfback starting first. My starting halfback is going to be Jim Brown. It's pretty obvious. Everybody knew that was, going to, that was coming. However, let's go. Let's look back to the second one. My second starting running back. If we're going to go with a two running back set. And we're going to go two halfbacks. And like in a split formation. My second running back is going to be Eric Metcalf. I know, uh, maybe a little bit controversial. We've had other great running backs throughout Browns history. We've had Leroy Kelly. We've had um, Kevin Mack. We've had Ernest Biner. We've had some other greats. We have currently some great running backs on our roster as well with Nick Chubb and Duke Johnson and now Kareem Hunt coming. But my second secondary uh, running back is going to be Eric Metcalf. Why am I doing that? Because we're going to need to throw some swing passes. We're going to need to do some screens. We're going to we're going to bump out Metcalf um, into the slot from time to time in motion into the slot to do little slants and little outs, right? So Eric Metcalf, if you look at from, again all time statistic guys, you're looking at somebody with one of, some of the most all time purpose yards in NFL history. Eric Metcalf's that guy. I I need to carry a couple more running backs though because injuries and you know these certain things happen. So the other running backs I'm gonna carry are gonna be I'm carrying I'm taking Nick Chubb. I'm taking Nick Chubb with my third. Um, he's young, he's versatile, he's explosive. I think Nick Chubb is, has a bright future ahead of him, and I'm banking a lot on potential here. So if I'm, this would almost be like the draft pick of um, of my Browns all-time favorite roster. Okay, so we got three running backs. I'm gonna carry a fourth. I'm gonna carry a fourth because we need some power back there as well. And I'm gonna go with Kevin Mack for the power. I'm putting Kevin Mack on my goal line situations with the giant shoulder pads. I'm putting Kevin Mack in that. That, that, that third and short goal line scenarios as well, Kevin Max can carry the ball for me. He's going to carry the load. Those are my four running backs. I'm also going to carry a fullback. Most people, most rosters, I don't know if, you, if you've got enough roster room these days for this. I'm carrying a fullback, and my fullback is going to be touchdown Tommy Vardell. Tommy Vardell, coming when he came into the league, when he started playing in the 90s, was we had gone, we had gone dozens of games without a 100-yard rusher. I mean, it was depressing what was going on before Tommy Vardell joined the team. I think Tommy Vardell was a rock solid. Yeah, he could play he could play H-back, he could play halfback, 
Uh, but I'm gonna have him not in a blocking, not not as like a blocking fullback. I'm gonna have him as a ball carrying fullback. Touchdown, Tommy Vardell. People that got slighted on this list, yes, Leroy Kelly got slighted. Um, it's controversial. Um, he was a hell of a running back. I've, I wasn't uh, I wasn't alive during the time when Leroy was uh, carrying the ball for the Browns. I've seen the highlights. My dad talks very highly of him. Um, so he's on there. But again, this is my all-time favorite Browns. And uh, on my all-time favorite Browns, I'm going to go with mostly the guys that I saw uh, play in real life. So, all right. So let's go. Before we go to wide receiver, let's go to tight end. All right, tight end is kind of an interesting one. Um, we've got some all. We have some legendary tight ends. Um, we've got some old timers. We got some newer guys that have done quite well. Most recently, you got guys like uh, like Gary Barnage. Recently, um, you you got Njoku. You know, obviously he's doing pretty well. He's got some potential. We'll see what happens there. But my, I'm gonna if I go down and I'm gonna have like a two tight end set, right? If I if I'm gonna go heavy. I'm gonna go two tight ends. My tight ends also need to catch the ball. I'm not. I, I don't go heavy blocking. I go heavy athletic. Um, so Ozzy Newsom is obviously the number one tight end on the roster on the depth chart. He's number one. Number two is Gary Collins. Gary Collins, for any of you younger Browns fans, um, was the guy who basically invented the post pattern back in the day. Um, he is. And by the way, he also kicked. He was also a kick, a tight end slash. Uh, toe-based Bing straight-ahead kicker, right? It's, that's a weird combination. So that's what I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go with those two tight ends. I'm not gonna go tight end heavy because I got. I have a lot of athletes on my list. So we're gonna stick with just Gary Collins and Ozzy Newsom. Those are my two. Some honorable mentions that we had out there. I I, I was and Joku's getting getting there. Um, he isn't quite risen to that level yet. Ozzie Newsome, Gary Collins are some of the top ever. So we're going to go with those two guys. Wide receivers. All right. So looking at wide receivers, um, if I have an all-time number one wide receiver that I'm going to, I'm going to put out in the flank, my number one guy is going to be Webster Slaughter. Because you're starting burning and you need to have the chemistry right? You need to have the chemistry. You can't just like throw in anybody there. And that was proven chemistry between Bernie and Webster for a couple years there. So Webster's going to be my, my guy in the side. My second wide receiver. Um, we're going to look, we're going to look today. I'm going to take him from today's team. I'm taking Jarvis as my second wide receiver. So you got Webster on the left. You got Jarvis on the right, right? And you've got a couple guys in between. I'm going to take a possession guy with my third wide receiver pick. Little short slants, little short outs, um, maybe a hitch pattern. We, we, he kind of lands softly in, in the zone. Taking Brian Brennan with my third pick wide receiver for the Browns. Um, going, Looking back historically, if you really look back on it, there may not have been a more sure-handed wide receiver in Brown's history than the 1980s with Brian Brennan. So that's why we're going with it. Looking into the 90s, um, you know, there were a couple years there. Some of the young guys may not know, and some of the old guys may have forgotten. There were a couple years there that Michael Jackson was very good as well. I'm taking Michael Jackson for that's controversial. I, I recognize that. He was a very, very good wide receiver. He got kind of came towards the end of the Bernie era, um, beginning of the Testaverde era. Mike Jackson was a was a very good wide receiver. Um, okay. I got four wide receivers. Um, looking, if I got to take a fifth, we got to go pretty deep in the depth chart. Um, the guy, these are the guys that may or may not make the team, the later, the lower guys down in, on the list. Um I really am tempted to put in Josh Gordon on there. I really am. I mean, he had such potential, but I can't really, I can't, I can't give him a spot on my all-time favorite Browns roster because just the way that he burned us, you know, just the way that he burned us, um, and never really took it himself seriously, never took the organization seriously. Um, still struggling to this day, so it's really tough. So I, I'm leaving Josh off, but statistically and talent-wise. Yeah, Josh is. Josh would have been on the list. Josh probably would have been number, num, maybe even number one, ever, right? But uh, I'm leaving him completely off of my list because 
it just never really materialized, and it was a lot, uh, 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 like a lost, a lot of wasted talent there with Josh. Other guys that I'm considering, considering putting Andre Davis on the roster, just because I'm a Hokie and Andre Davis was a Hokie, but I'm leaving him off. I know I would have been a little bit too close to home for most people. Like that, that, that people may turn the video off if I say that. Dennis Northcutt is another guy that I would like to put on there, and he may actually squeak. He might. Dennis Northcutt is one of those guys that if we had a tryout, right? If we had. If we had a, like a combine for these type players, he could he might be able to inch his way onto the team just with heart alone. Dennis Northcutt. Other wide receivers of note. All-time favorite Browns. The guy who's gonna make my fifth as the all-time favorite Browns is Reggie Langhorn. A, another guy from the mid 80s, those those amazing Browns rosters that I personally think if they would have gotten past Denver in the playoffs in 86 and 87, I think we would have given uh, the Super Bowl run. So those are my five wide receivers in no particular order. Offensive linemen are very tough. I'm going to give you a couple of my favorites. Obviously, you have Joe, Joe Thomas left tackle, no problem. Very simple. Center, I'm going with Steve Everett at center. Um, 90s guy again, painter, talented painter as well. You guys remember that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Batonio at right tackle. I know, I understand what everybody's going to say here. I understand that that's out of position. That's not really where he should be. But I think if you're looking at it and the, the, the versatility that he had, I think you can get that. You can get that that right tackle there. I'm putting Mike Babb on my offensive line. That's my t that's my offensive line. We can scoot some guys around um, in terms of uh, the only guys that have a 100% locked solid position on my offensive line is Joe Thomas at left tackle and Steve Everett as my center. All right. So looking at, a, I'm trying to think if I have any more honorable mentions or guys that I might, I might just invite in for a tryout. Um, I'm going to invite another Virginia Tech guy, Lee Suggs, in for a tryout. I know he probably may not make the team. He had a lot of heart, set a Browns record for most carries in a game. I was there in Miami for that game. Um, I'm going to invite, uh, I'm going to invite Peyton Hillis in for a tryout as well. Peyton Hillis had uh, some really nice year, uh, at least one really nice year for the Browns. We all got really excited about him. Cover Madden. It was a fun time to be a Browns fan, sort of. But it was at least somewhat interesting to be a Browns fan. I should say that. Um, I'm going to... Um, no, no. I, I feel I'm. I feel good. I, I think that's my roster. I got my quarterbacks, got my running backs, got a fullback, got a couple tight ends, got an offensive line, got wide receivers. Yes, that's my that that's my final. You can look at it right there. That's my final all-time favorite Browns roster. And uh, if I have the ability, I'm gonna buy the Madden this year, right? I'm gonna buy it. So we're gonna we're gonna see if I can actually put together that legacy team. And see if I can play a couple rounds of that, maybe even live stream it here. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. If you think I'm absolutely nuts for including some of the guys that I included, or I mean, obviously you got the 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 all time guys, the Jim Brown, the Autogram, uh, the uh, the Ozzy Newsome. Yeah, those are the guys that are definitely on there. They're gonna make everyone's list. But do you guys agree with the rest of what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. I want to hear from you. Let me know. All right, thanks for watching. Again, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Let me know. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Press like. Do all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time. As always, go Browns. Yeah.